So guys, welcome back to some more Stranded Deep. I've just been on a bit of a resource run because I'm trying to collect everything that I'm going to need in order to keep building around the island. Holy shit, the size of that wave. But I've been pretty busy off screen too. Like a lot of the stuff that you've last seen in the previous episode has probably changed. So I'm going to take you on a tour around the island too. So let me just get rid of all this stuff. In fact, how much durability is left on that? In fact, let me get rid of this first. I need to check how much durability is left on the tools because I've been going through axes so quick. Even refined axes, I think I've been through like three of them. And countless amounts of crude axes. I've got plenty of, of uh, lashing to work with now. Okay, where did you go? Put you there. Alright, let me check on how much durability is left on this. Where is it? Grab the hands. 40% durability. I think I've only got one of these left too. Okay, not the biggest problem in the world, but we are running out of tools. I'm going to place these down here as well. Okay, so we're looking good for resources. In the previous episode, I did say that I wanted to make an area specific for everything that I needed to build. And this is kind of it. I had loads of tarps left over, so I made this for like, what are these called? The, the palm fronds. We've got the tarps. Just got a load of, uh, of the driftwood. I don't know why it's called trunk. I could have swore this used to be called driftwood. We've just got the tires if I want to add onto the raft too. We've got some stones, our rocks, and we've got the lashing as well. In fact, let me go ahead and make some more lashing with this. Chances are I'm probably going to need it. I want to try and play around with a few of the things that I haven't played with yet as well. Do I need another one of those? I've used most of the scrap metal because of the farms, but you know what? I'll show you guys how I've been making these. So let me grab the hammer real quick. Grab this. Which one did I use? It was the wood floor. Is this going to place down because of the rocks? It's not going to place, is it? Well, shit. Okay, I guess I can't show you guys, but basically it's just a floor with a tarp at the back with obviously just a wall in the center, but it kind of separates everything pretty good. And if I wanted to, I could throw up some stairs, do a second level to it. I could make this look really, really cool. I don't know if it's going to be an eyesore, though, like when I get the, the base stretched around the whole of the island. So let me show you all what we've been working with. So I guess you guys have already seen all of this, like the main base. Nothing's really changed too much around here, but I did push out a little further with this. I use one of those wedge foundations too, which is pretty cool because you can get a, co a cool angle which kind of wraps around the island. Throwing some stairs down to like a reserve, I guess life raft or a reserve boat in case I need it, in case anything happens to the, uh, the main raft. And then we've got this, the farm. One of you guys told me after the previous episode that I needed to place the, or plant the fruit which you guys were absolutely right. I don't know why I was trying to plant the potato. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in the old version of the game, one of the really, really old versions of the game, that you could plant a potato and it would grow something. Either that or I'm just going insane. But we've got some farms going now. Look at this. We're almost self-sustained. Like, we got our own food. We've got the water coming in. Like, I've got countless amounts of buckets in this place. But this is where I've got a bit of a problem. I've thrown down the wedge foundation here and I want to go that way, but I don't just want to wrap the actual walkway around the island. I want to build things off to it. So if anyone's got any cool ideas of things I could build, like maybe possibly a dock for the raft or something like that, or anything that I would use in this situation, then let me know. I'll try and build it around this island, but I like the way this is going along. So I've just had the worst sneezing fit I've ever had in my entire life. This time of year is terrible for me, like my allergies play up so bad. Okay, so before we get into the main stuff or the meat of the episode, I want to try and test this. Because some people said that the hook can hold dead sharks, but at the same time some people have said that it can only hold things like lanterns. So I'm going to test the lantern first, because every single time I load back into the game, the lanterns either fall- oh it hasn't this time! But the lantern normally falls over. All right, let me see what you look like there. So if I pick you up, can I hook you onto this? No. What about if I do this? Interact that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Turn it on. Oh, I need to find some more lanterns. Oh, I've got one there as well. Should I put one that side? I think that would look pretty cool. Even though I've got like a bedside table, I think it'd look pretty cool. One of the things that I haven't found in the game, and I've been looking guys, like for the past two or three days, I've been looking so much for a barrel. Just one. And I can't even find any in the game anymore. I don't even know if they've changed that. So what I've been thinking is, if it's not really worth me playing this version of the game, which is obviously the stable version, 
I might switch over to experimental because I do keep track of what the devs are updating with the game and especially with their Twitter and stuff, you kind of get the news first. But they've released, I'm gonna have to get this lined up. They've released, perfect. Like three updates on experimental mode while I've been playing this. And I really wanna take a look. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Looks really homely now. Still not really got a use for this. I'm still pissed that we can't sit down in the chair, but even so, we've got furniture now. I think I'm gonna use these to take them out with me on the raft, but that's gonna be in another episode. But yeah, I'm thinking that I might switch things up and switch over to experimental mode and maybe bring you guys back into the series once I've got like the makings of a base and stuff. I don't really know, what do you guys think? Because I know there's been a lot of changes. There's been things like changes with new roofs, obviously the, uh, the, the clay that I told you guys about in a previous episode with the bricks and stuff. And I really want to try and sink my teeth into that before it comes out to the stable version. I don't want to have to wait because with it being so early doors, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, that's right. With it being so early doors, I don't want to have to wait too long for the updates to come out because once I get to a certain level in this game, there's really nothing much more to do because they've taken shipwrecks out of the game. I'm really just waiting on the devs to update the stable version. So I don't really know what to do at this point. I'll tell you what I am going to do though. I'm going to make some more of, what are they called? Building. No, crafting. Need these. Spear gun arrows. That's what we're going to make next. So crafting. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. I decided just to sleep the night away because it was getting pretty late by the time I finished making the spears. And as you guys can see, there's 22 of them now. So I think you guys are clued up to what we're going to be doing today. But the first thing that I want to try and get done is maybe make another farm. Because last time I was over here, I've just hydrated them. Yeah, they are. So we're getting fruit from these things now. So I'm going to go to this make a basic one even though i hate the way they're on an angle it's always good to have more farms so let me just put this one is it gonna go there at the back please let's go there okay so now i can pick one of the fruits the cura fruit plant you thank you so much to whoever told me that by the way i don't know where i got that from like i could have swore that you could plant potatoes and if you're not able to do that if there's not a way to do it you should be able to do it because they're already in the ground so, we've got another cura plant growing now, and that's good. So we got another farm. Now, in fact, while I'm here, should I add another piece to this? You know what, I'm gonna do it. So, wood foundation. Place that there, and then where's this gonna go? So underneath, it's gonna go right over that tree, and that might poke through. It's probably gonna poke through. And it's probably gonna come to about here. Or should I go straight across? No, I think I'm going to go straight across. But you guys can see like how much or how many resources it's going to take to go all the way around the island. But like I said before, I don't even know if I'm going to do that yet. If you guys want me to switch things up and take a look at the new updates that the devs have brought to the game, let me know. And I'll definitely switch it up to the experimental version. Let me get this made because otherwise it's going to drive me mad. And then what we're going to do is go out hunting for some sharks. Now, whether that be a tiger shark or a great white, I don't know. That's actually looking pretty good. The one downside to these uh, these wedge foundations, I'll show you guys real quick. If we go across to the walls, where's the half wall? If I use, can I use anything? If I use this, they don't snap. I don't know why. Like, it's not letting me place that. And it should. So game devs, if by some miracle you're watching this video, please change this. That's why I've had to throw the stairs in over there. All right. Let's get on the raft. So I want to kill a shark. I know that sounds horrible, survival situation and all that, but I want to kill a shark because I want to see if we can hang it up and I've not killed a great white yet. So whatever we run into first is going to meet the wrath of these, what? Is going to meet the wrath of these 22 spear gun arrows. So let's see what we can find. Now I know 100% where I can find one, which is over there at the, uh, the sea forts. But more than likely, I'm probably going to run in to a tiger shark. Any minute now. Okay, guys. So I've been looking for a good amount of time. And I actually cannot believe that I've not seen a single shark yet. So I think what I'm going to do is head over closer to the sea forts. Now, I did go back and I've grabbed the rebreather because I want to be able to recover the body of this thing. The only thing that I'm worried about 
is bringing it back on this. Is it gonna stay stable? See, if I don't go too far away from the island, it might just be deep enough that we run into a Great White without having to go all the way to the forts. Let me just stand up. You see, I've said this for the longest time, Stranded Deep needs really weird mechanics. Like, in this situation, if you really, really wanted to bring a shark in, if you cut your hand, like, let's say, for example, if we just cut a little bit of our hand, just enough to get some blood, and we dipped it into the ocean, that would bring them in quicker than having to look for them. I don't know if you know that, but sharks have got an incredible smell, or a sense for smell in the ocean. Look, there's nothing! And now it's raining, and the fog's probably gonna roll in. It looks like it is too. This game. This game. Every single time I try and do something in an episode, the fog rolls in. Alright, I'm going to keep looking though. I'm not going to give up. Okay, so, I've been on the ocean I don't know how many hours, but as you can see, my options are now slim. The sun is literally about to go down, so I'm heading over to the Seafoots, which I know 100% is the only place where I've seen a great white shark. If you guys remember when we first found this place and we explored it, there was a great white shark at the bottom of the ladders, and I don't know if I've just seen a dorsal fin. I've just seen something behind the ladders. Go back and watch the video, guys, you'll see it. Unless it was a mirage, and as I always say, if I'm going crazy in this place, Come on, you big bitch. I brought the rebreather, so if we can get it quick... There we go. There's one. Now, I have no idea how many spear gun arrows this is going to take, but here we go. Two. I'm just going to keep shooting it. I wonder how deep the water is here. Where is it? Is that it? There we go. Three. Four. Oh, it's getting really dark. No, no, no. <gasps> did it knock me off it then? I think it did. Let's see if I can bring it back. If I can bring this thing back to shore, I don't know if it's going to follow me though. I don't see it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just impossible to see. I can't get shot in it with this thing. It's just too dark. Honestly guys, I have no idea what to do. Like, that was something straight out of a horror film. The shark got so pissed, it flipped the raft, and I have no idea how to flip it back. I scrambled to these ladders to try and get to safety, but... They, they, I don't know what else I can do. Like, I've got limited light, I've got no raft, which seems to be drifting along. I think, it, is it still there? I suppose what I could do... Can I maybe jump off that onto the top of the raft? Maybe, maybe. Let me give that a go. That's the, that's the only thing I can think of doing, guys, because otherwise it means waiting till daytime and then maybe making a break for it. But that thing is huge. There's a reason why I've never fought a great white shark before in this game. All right, there's the raft. Where's the shark? All right, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do it? Fuck it. I'm dead. Hold E to interact, please! Oh no, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Swim. 
Swim like you've never swam before. Please, please, don't come up behind me, please. Oh, there he is! Wait, 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 wait. Let me try and take him. Oh, fuck, he disappeared. Climb, climb, climb. Oh, I'm... There's just nothing I can do. I have two bars of hydration left. After that, I'm going to slowly die of thirst. I've not got any options left. I've either got to try and jump on that with one last attempt. If that doesn't work, it looks like I'm swimming back to the island, guys. I literally can't wait till morning. It's going to take too long. What's better to have? The light? No, the light. Because I need to see it coming. That way I can evade it. Here we go. Oh, no, it's so quiet. Please, please, please be able to get on top of this thing. Please, please. Okay, looks like we're swimming back to the island. God, we're actually gonna make it. Just a little bit to go. How are we looking? How are we looking? Oh, I need water quick. No, please. Okay, we made it. Oh my God, we made it. So you guys have just seen that. Like, we swam from the sea forts back to the island. Honestly, guys, I didn't think we were gonna make it. I thought if the Great White didn't get us, a tiger shark would coming closer to the shoreline, but we made it. I think that's all my heart can take in this episode, but I've got a plan. On the way over here while I was swimming back to the island, I've got a plan. I think I know what to do to get the raft back, to flip it over and to take that shark down. But like I said before, there seems to be a lot more going on in experimental mode now. So if you want me to switch things up and show you guys the new updates and stuff and play with what's new in the game, let me know in the comments. I still can't believe we made that swim. That's insane. It's like the biggest fail ever, but we survived a great white shark attack. So I guess, guys, for now, I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.